Hello, and welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, we will go through the different types of background effects you can add to your design area. You can access the background options for your document template through the New Document Wizard, or through the Page Setup dialog. Click on the Background tab to find your background options. In the three mini tabs, we can see that we can add a picture, a color, or a template image to the template's background. First, let's add a picture. When we click on the Source drop-down menu, we get the option to add an embedded picture or a linked picture. When we choose to embed an image into our document, we place an image file directly into our Bartender document file. The source image can come from a file saved on your computer or imported from a scanner or camera. If you make changes to the picture outside of Bartender, you will need to re-embed the updated image. A linked picture, on the other hand, saves a link to the location where the desired picture file resides on your computer. This allows you to modify the picture outside of Bartender and the image will automatically update on your template to reflect the changes you made. Once we bring a picture into Bartender, we have a number of tools to modify the image to suit our needs. You can use the size method to fit the image to your document. By selecting Fit to Width, the image width will match the width of the template. Similarly, with Fit to Height, the image height will match the template height. Or if you choose Stretch, the image will be stretched over the entire area of the template. You can also adjust the rotation of the image to your liking as well. You also have printing options that allow you to set parameters on when the background image is printed, adjust the image formatting, or deal with possible errors. Now let's look at adding a color to our background. The background color can either be a solid color, a gradient fill, or a pattern. To set a solid color, we can choose from the palette of predefined colors in the background color dropdown or from a custom color picker. From inside the color picker, we can select a color. If we click the custom tab, we can further refine that selection. If we go back to the background color dropdown menu and choose more fill options, we get quite a few more background options. We can add a gradient that transitions between two or more colors. We select the gradient colors by clicking on a marker and then picking the color in a similar fashion as we did before. We can also add a pattern. You can see we have quite a selection of patterns. Once we choose a pattern, we can then adjust the foreground and background colors. The last fill option we have is to use a picture or a texture. This is similar to using a background picture, except the image will cover the entire design area. It can also be tiled to give the appearance of wood or some other surface texture. If you don't like any of the predefined textures, you can select your own custom texture from the files on your computer. Once you have selected the texture you want to use, you can choose to tile or stretch that texture across your design area. Finally, you can adjust the transparency of your texture. The last background option we'll cover in this video is a little different, template images. So what is a template image anyway? A template image lies on top of your template to assist you in the design process. It does not actually print on your document, but allows you to place objects on your template to match the layout of an existing design. To add a template image, we use the same process that we used to add a picture. You can get a template image from a scanner or a camera or from a file on your computer. Here, I have an existing label that I want to use as a template to create a new label. When I place this label image on my document, it appears as a colorized image over the entire document. You can change the template image color to suit your working preferences if you need to. As you work, you may want to hide the template image to see only your design. At any point, you can remove the image to reduce your computer's memory or CPU usage. No matter which background you choose, when you click OK, the background will show up in your design area. If you need to go back and make adjustments, simply reopen the Page Setup dialog at any time. To quickly recap, you have a number of background options available through the Page Setup dialog. Bartender makes it easy to add a background picture, color, texture, and even a template image. If you still have questions about this process, consult the Bartender Help System for more information or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.